The late Lenny Naidu was an activist who dreamt of a free, democratic and peaceful South Africa, but he wasn't content to leave it there. His commitment to turning that dream into reality cost him his life, but the message lives on in a new stage production by Jay Shri Parasuraman, who we chatted to backstage. Surendra Naidu, known to friends and family as Lenny, was just 24 when he was killed by apartheid security forces in 1988. His life and sacrifice were commemorated after the dawn of democracy. And today, there's a major road in Chatsworth named after this struggle icon. For the story behind the street sign, Karishma met up with playwright Jayshree Parasuraman. Jayshree, who was Lenny Naidu and why were you inspired to write this play? Lenny Naidu was a political activist, a freedom fighter. I was inspired to write this play because I was very moved by his story, how he was killed, and also I found him to be such a profound man. He read some of the most amazing books and when I read a poem that he wrote, it really touched me. Why do you think it's so important for the story to be told? There are so many unsung heroes in South Africa and many of them fought for our freedom, freedom that we enjoy today. And we don't know what they've done. We don't know who most of them are and how they gave their lives in the struggle. And I think that is very important to acknowledge them and also to be grateful um, and show our gratitude for giving their lives. On that note, thank you so much for bringing us these lovely flowers to give to Lenny's mum. Hello. Hello, Ma. This is Mrs. Neela Naidu. Hello. Ma, this is Karishma. These are for you. Thank you. Ma, how do you feel about a play being written about your son? I'm very proud. I must thank Jayshree for bringing it up to this level. Please, can you take us down memory lane? This is Lenny. He took this photograph for his driver's lesson. And he was a very disciplined child, honest, and he kept to his promise. This was taken on his father's 50th birthday party. When the police came looking for him, we said we don't have any pictures of him. When Lenny was shot, then they got the picture from me. When I went to identify the body, I said this is my well, how do you feel about Lenny fighting for the struggle? I am very proud of Lenny because it came out, everybody knew about him, what he did. Previously, they thought he was a terrorist. Ma, thank you so much for your time and for telling your side of the story to us today. Welcome. Ma, we're going to see you at the theatre. Yes. we got a show. Yes. See you there. We will be there. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Karishma and Jayshree headed to the Playhouse to meet the director and cast before the evening performance. Karishma, we've had such a phenomenal response since opening night. Every performance has been a standing ovation. Was it difficult writing about a real person with a living memory? Yes, very difficult because apart from the story being so amazing to tell, but how do you tell a story and entertain an audience at the same time? I'm sure this project required a lot of in-depth research. What was that process like for you? It was a daunting process. <laughs> I had to interview many people and you know when you interview one person, they lead you to somebody else and it went on. Um, even after opening night, there were still some people that wanted to see me. And what do you hope to achieve with the play? That we must remember our unsung heroes. Many people have died for whatever struggle it was that they were fighting for or whatever cause they were fighting for. And this should never be forgotten. Same with Lenny Naidu's story. Well, I know you've got a performance to get ready for, so I'm going to let you go. Break legs tonight and I cannot wait to see you on stage. Thank you very much for being here, Mela. Demi, how did you feel about being the first director to tackle the script? I must say it was uh, exciting, but at the same time quite scary. Because uh, this is somebody that died not so long ago. You know, it's not... And there are, there are a lot of people around who have a very real living memory of Lenny Naidu. Rahul, tell me, what has this whole experience been like for you? Two words for you, life-changing. Um, getting into somebody's, somebody's character who has a living mum, friends who are available to view the show, who respect him, was very difficult for me. It's a challenge for any actor. With a play telling the story of one of their own, Durban Knights attended performances almost as an act of pilgrimage.
I walked with slow, measured steps uh, towards a square cardboard coffin. I, I slowly put my hands into the box. And a sense of guilt came over me as I touched what was in it. I, I carried it, though, with both arms, as if it was a newborn baby. The others, they, they waited anxiously. Each grabbed a leg and one the head and, and the teacher stood there with a sack in his hand. <coughs> I merely looked on feeling guilty, incapable and distraught. The teacher placed a brown weaved garland over the neck and, and tightened it. All I could do was be witness to the same. I looked at each person's eyes until it met his. The brightness of those, those beautiful pink stars struck me. They struck me as stars from another universe. We read a lot of books and taught ourselves about politics. We spoke to all the elders in our community and influential people who educated us even further. What our education system didn't teach us, we learned on our own. Listen guys, the police are starting to smell a rat. Yeah, we need to watch what we say, where we say and who we say to. Exactly, there are ears everywhere. Look, to safeguard our families, they must know nothing. The police will interrogate them. Understood? Yeah, listen, there are weapons to be sent by the border just as the last time. They will be thrown over the fence and we will be made aware of when to fetch these weapons. Once these weapons are in our possession, they'll be in your care, Richard. Every step of the way, our lives are at risk. All I know is that I've got to pray for my children. Every day I pray for them. But I still have this frightened feeling. I know he's not telling me the truth. But maybe it's for the best. Because if he does, I don't know how to deal with it. Look, you won't understand this now, but Mom, one day you'll understand. One day when we have equal rights, freedom of education, no segregation against our skin color, then you'll understand, Mom. Until then, I can't tell you anything. Well, we have to honor Jayshree as well to take up this big challenge of actually letting people know about Lenny as a person, not so much as an activist as many of his comrades would know him, but as family, that we know him personally, a loving, caring somebody, and, and somebody that has really sacrificed his life for an entire nation. A bittersweet moment because sometimes we tend to forget those who pay the ultimate price in the fight for our liberation, but once again through art, through the humanity of people like Jay Shri, uh, the story continues. This play on Lenny is very important because the worst thing we can do for human rights activists and freedom fighters is to forget about them. And this play then honors him. So the best way we can honor our heroes is to keep their memories alive.